All right, hello everybody. Welcome to our next lesson here. This is the war home front. This is for our unit or the unit World War I. So please take a moment there to look over the objectives and standards, uh, if you would please. Sorry about that. And our desired result, how did people around the world become involved in the war effort? Everyone in the fight. The war affected every person around the world. Uh, millions had joined the military and many came home wounded or did not come home at all. Uh, civilians would also become involved in the fighting in different ways as well. A different type of war. The war soon became a total war. Countries devoted all their resources to the struggle. Uh, countries changed their economies to war production as factories were told how much to produce. Some factories were even converted into munition production or like ammunition, creating bullets or um, uh, weapons and things like that for the, uh, the war. Every person was put to work and unemployment dropped. You can see in this picture here, this is, uh, I believe, uh, an example of a war production factory um, or people working uh, to make weapons uh, for World War I. Control of goods. Demand for goods was rising as well. The supply for certain items was so short that the government had to put in place rationing, uh, restricting citizens to buy a small amount of an item so the rest could be used for the war effort. This covered a wide range of items from shoes to butter. Um, so people were limited um, into what they could buy um, and use. That way those supplies could be you know, saved and kept uh, to support uh, the fighting. Again, this was for many different countries uh, all around the world, for the United States, for England, for Germany. Um, didn't matter really what side you were on. Uh, a lot of countries uh, had uh, people supporting the war uh, for their countries and for their soldiers in different ways at times, uh, I believe. Choosing sides. Governments also limited anti-war activities, sometimes with force. Uh, countries also censored news about the war to build support for the fight. Uh, governments used propaganda, one-sided information with the goal of persuading a person to an idea or position uh, to build support for the war in their nations. Um, so I have a couple of example, uh, examples, excuse me, of uh, posters. Uh, here's one here you can see of uh, you know, propaganda trying to convince people to support the war uh, and things like that. Okay, here's another example. Um, sorry, got a little cut off there at the bottom there, the, the picture there. Sorry, got a little cut off. Uh, but it says, enlist on which side of the window are you? So obviously this gentleman kind of, you know, maybe not enlisting or not volunteering for the fight or whatever the case may be or not getting involved in the fight. Um, so kind of convincing people to try and get involved in the fight or to, you know, volunteer for the army or things like that or for the military. And uh, this last one here, uh, the Navy needs you. Don't read American history, make it. So this is obviously a poster trying to convince someone to, again, enlist in the Navy. Um, and again, a lot of these posters that you've seen here, um, especially the last two um, are from the US. Um, I believe the, the, first one, the first one you originally saw was as well, but I'm not quite sure. Um, but again, these are propaganda posters uh, to try and convince people to get involved in the war effort or to uh, support the war effort uh, in different means. Women play a role. Governments also turned to women to help out with the war effort. Women went to work in factories, offices, and shops, while men were off, <coughs> excuse me, women went to work in factories, offices, and shops, while men were off fighting the war. I apologize about that. Uh, they gathered supplies and food for soldiers as well. Others went to uh, the war themselves and worked as nurses. So uh, again, the left-hand picture there you can see, uh, she is doing her part to help win uh, the war, probably, I'm not quite sure, probably rationing uh, maybe is what they're talking about there and trying to save things for the troops. And then the right hand picture, they are a poster, uh, both these are posters, I should say, uh, I believe. Um, the right hand one there um, showing you that, you know, women should volunteer or help as nurses uh, as well. Okay, so our closure. How did people around the world become involved in the war effort? Uh, think about uh, the work of factories and what people are doing to uh, help the war effort. Um, by going to work and uh, working in factories and things like that. Think about the use of rationing um, and how that played a role and uh, also think about the role of propaganda and how that impacted the war effort. 
and uh, also think about the uh, the role of women and uh, excuse me the role of women and uh, the roles they are playing uh, in the war effort and how they are helping as well um, and that'll help you answer your questions uh, please try your best in the questions that follow um, and let me know of any questions or concerns uh, I hope you have a great rest of your day or night, and I hope to talk to you all soon. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.